you sticking pop bottles and <laughs> beer bottles and bowling pins and, and f getting fists and, I mean, that's going to ruin the wall. You know what I'm <laughs> women ain't got no motherfucking sense. They stupid, man. They stupid. No, man, it's hard. And I don't understand. Hey, you never forget a time when we found that phone. We found a phone. Oh, God. And on the SD card. And on the SD card. I could never put this video on the internet. Nigga, hey, man. And this chick walks by you every week. It was a nappy as hair pussy. The pussy looked a fool. Look at man, the phone you found. Yeah. The pussy was ashy. Her pussy was white. Ashy. Her pussy was so ashy, it was white. It had crust. It was like. You can see the skin peeling off on it. On the side, it had bumps all up on it. It was all white and ashy. It was, uh, you know the characteristics of a, 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 a meth head or a, a crackhead? That their face dry out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Same thing. That's it's crazy. the same exact thing. It was the most disgusting pussy I've ever seen in my life. I deleted it. I should have kept I, I, it. I looked at it. I didn't want to look at it on the I probably could have sold it and made money off it. Because you, know? you know, crack. Because you know, it fucked my head up. Because you know, men are good. Well, especially when we're dealing with women, we're visual. We like to see a fat ass, we like hips, thighs, but a well-proportioned woman. And I had that vision, I, this is a truck turn, this is what really happened. I had that vision, that pussy in my mind. I was looking at the girl and it just turned me off. Yeah. You know what I mean? I hit pop it in my brain. My mind. It stayed in my mind for a while. You man. found the phone and you deleted it. I mean, I ain't never seen nothing like that. That had to be some Christian shit for you. It was deleting something on the phone that you found on the ground. <laughs> I should have kept it though to show people though. Insurances, you know, they plan on it. They, 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 these bitches, these stupid bitches, building on to their house. Get the 30 second chapter. Get the 30 second chapter. These bitches are actually preparing, they, they actually planning to retire good. Not even noticing this sorry ass country is going fucking down the, down the toilet. What's that called? Circling the drain. It's a medical term when, the, when you see, when you see. Uh, 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 patients dying. It's called circling the drain. <laughs> CT, CTD. It's a term. It's an acronym they use in these fucking hospitals. They're circling the drain. They don't even see it happen, man. They fucking still got to think of that white picket fence. My stupid ass wife still talk that stupid shit too, man. Talking about looking for another house and just want to go to school. Bitch, do you ever hear me talking to you? Dumbass. Yeah, that's what be saying. Like what be saying to my bitch. All that shit would be in vain. Women be in fan. That's why you don't see women teaching. Cause they in fantasy land all day. All they do is dream. I said. They ain't like that. You mean the women? You mean to tell me these women ain't intelligent? Man, these women is dumb as hell. All they do, they just in fantasy land all day, dreaming about romance and they, they just thinking about cute things, little sweet little yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I was just talking to this stupid ass black bitch the other day, yesterday. Oh, uh, me and my girls, we going to the casino. Oh, uh, this is just what we do every week. Go to the casino and Be a you know, going out and get we going to get drunk. And it, this was yesterday. And this is what she said, this is what they constantly do. I was like, you mean to tell me you got money like that, you can go to the casino every couple of weeks? Yeah, I my kids are grown, they only yeah, I don't know. Constantly, constantly. And it's an everyday thing with these bitches. They go to them casino and they go to them private, because what you call them are internet cafes. Yeah. Them internet cafes, man. These bitches are fucking stupid, man. They really just in there looking for men. Yeah. Man, they have got the money. They know you're gonna find some money or somewhere with someone's gambling. There goes your homie, Chen. That's your dude that put you in jail that one time. Yeah, I got a real time, man. I know that pale piece of shit. He would, I don't think he would leave the house without his thing, would he? Without his head covered? <laughs> don't they wear the little yarmulke? They look just like him. He probably doesn't. He looks like a faggot either way. Read that, read that loud too. Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. So the Lord's talking to all you women. He said you're supposed to stop being a hoe. That's what he's saying. A, look to the, a careless hoe. A careless ass hoe. Going around by the time these hoes was 18 and had sex with 500 men. All these women making porno movies. They uploading all their porno movies to the internet. Almost every other hoe, probably actually nine out of ten women done made a porno. <laughs> a bunch of goddamn sluts. That's because, yeah. You don't want to keep it at, keep it real, keep it hundred hundred percent. Oh yeah. Well, probably, <laughs> eventually the ones that have it will. Oh yeah, they will. Eventually they will. <laughs> oh yeah, I was just Excuse seeing in the me. news today. There was a so college sorority. They was trying to have a. a a heterosexual only sorority with no homosexuals allowed. And they got in trouble for it. Wow. You know, it was an up for it. It's like, and the college said, that doesn't stand up to our values. Wow. They said it was that their value, they have such high values that, that they accept faggots and they love faggots. You know what I'm saying? They encourage that shit. What kind of shit is that, man? Hey, thank you. Keep it. Look at this goddamn meeting. We all come from. Hey, is there a Star Wars convention in town? Yeah, they look like the Jawas. The Jawas. You know the little Jawas? The little. You know who the Jawas are? The little dudes. Where they called? Not the The little dudes. The Jawas. Are they called Jawas? The, the little sand people to be up inside that big giant. Do a kickflip. They can't do no fucking faggots. These faggots can't do no tricks. The little furry Teddy Rocks gonna look at motherfuckers. Yeah, uh, that's, yeah what it, that's, that's what them bitches look like. That's what it was, Jamba. Is that what they call it? Some shit like that. Right These little heathen Muslim bitches. Yeah, get that. Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Get ear unto my speech. Listen. Many days and years shall ye be troubled. That's right. He said, listen and understand with your ears. Listen and understand. You got trouble coming for your ass, period. Ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. The vintage shall fail, so. Yeah, all these homes in their little lavish way of life. They just living all comfortable. You know, just they would go being a hoe to government, give them all kind of benefits. All these hoes, they all getting benefits from the government. They all on welfare, they all getting child support. Talk, talking about they independent woman, but they all getting a check from somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, checks coming from everything. Yeah, they got, they got all kind of checks coming. Yeah, he, half these bitches got two uh, child support from two different daddies, baby daddies. You being conservative again, bro. Well, yeah, I don't just say it. I'm saying the least. <laughs> I know one, like, the bitch I've dealt with, that's three, four different baby daddies. And they be complaining when he don't pay. The system see her coming through the door. They say, how, how you doing? Yep. And then you had these, how you doing? And then you got these faggot ass men. They'll come up and they'll, they'll come in like cap and save a hoe and be like, oh, 
If you ain't, if you ain't paying your child support, you ain't a real man. What kind of faggot shit is that, man? Uh, they pretty much saying if you ain't paying Uncle Sam. Yeah. I mean, you if you, paying, you, you think like that, you just need to put to death, man. And all these hoes out here co committing adultery, leaving their husband and collecting child support, they should all get put to death. The Lord's gonna put them all to death. The Lord's gonna put all the judges to death in the courtroom. All the prosecutors. All the prosecutors getting put to death. The defense get put to death too, because they down with the prosecutors. They all get put to death. And all the cops be enforce the laws too. They get they all get put to death. Because a cop is the enemy of God. Okay? Keep going. Exodus 21 and 10. If he take him another wife, her food, her raiment, and her duty of marriage shall he not diminish. And if he do not these three unto her, then shall she go out free without money. Oh yeah, so when a bitch leaves you, if a woman leaves you, she ain't supposed to, she ain't allowed to collect no child support. She's supposed to go with nothing. That's not the laws the in the Bible. Not even the kids. Because first of all, the laws in the Bible say, you're supposed to be with a woman your whole life, okay? A woman's always supposed to be a one man her whole life. There ain't even supposed to be no divorce. The divorce is supposed to be her getting put to death and she, uh, what they call it? What? With a, a mama or grandmama encouraged and instruct the daughter. They tell her to test the water. Test the water. Yeah, the these hoes are gonna tell their daughters to test the water. Tell them, oh, you gotta fuck a few men before you can lay down with the one you like. Right. The one that you can manipulate the most. Right. Bunch of fucking sluts. Where is that in the scriptures? Where is that? Where's those instructions in the scriptures? That's, that's some, that's some faggot shit, man. Go test the waters. A bitch is property. A woman is property. Okay, it's just a woman is property. Women have no rights. Okay, we're going back to the days when women had no rights. That's the days we're going back to because women have no rights. Okay, that's natural law. Those are the laws of the most high God of the universe, you bunch of dummies. Women are dumb as hell. They're supposed to be treated like children. You're supposed to keep women locked up with your gold and your money, with your prized possessions. You're supposed to let a woman walk down the street like a hoe, titties hanging out. Every last woman wear a shirt that at least go right here and show the top of her titties. How come no men wear shirts like that? It's all women. Y'all don't think a woman can even buy clothes to, to go up to her neck unless she buy men's t-shirts. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of sluts. Oh, go ahead, read that again. Yeah, because that women's rights thing, that's a new thing, man. That's like something brand new they just made up to fuck y'all up, man. Yeah, this shit started with these two white bitches, though. Yeah. It really, yeah, it started right with them Jew bitches. With them fucking Jew motherfuckers. Yep. That woman lives bullshit. That's all part of the Communist Manifesto. Part of the New World Order system. Hey. A bitch can't liberate nobody. What's she gonna do? She can't even fight. Well, how she go? How woman gonna liberate nothing, man? Right. Using the movie for an example, when you see chaos happen in the movie, who you hear screaming? Exactly. A woman. You hear the women screaming. They scream. They pass out. You might see a few men screaming, but you see <laughs> all the women screaming, man. And that's just an example of how I really, That's an example of reality. These women don't go. They don't go. They go. They go. They go. They go. The smallest thing happens. The smallest thing happened. Yeah. 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 imagine if something happened? We men, we get nervous. How do you think they feel? If we get nervous, you know? If we do get nervous, you know, but that's just a human instinct. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but if what? Because they try to say we all equal. This shit is crazy. If men and women is equal, how come in professional boxing, how come they ain't got Floyd May Mayweather fighting women? Right. If everybody equal. <laughs> I mean, for real. That's a perfect I mean, we live in fucking backwards land. This Let me is, tell you something. This is Floyd jackass Mayweather land. Is a little dude. He only weighs like 150 
Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, little, he can be any bitch on the planet Earth. Any, any woman. Every last Boy, one. Boy, he can knock any bitch out easily. But one punch. Right. It'd it be over. It'd be fun. I like to watch it. I'll pay good money to see that fight, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I will pay. That's right. Yeah. I will pay to see. That. That's the only fight I'll pay to see. You're going to have to get more than one bitch in one night, though. Get him like a 50 hoes to knock yeah. out one night. You know what I mean? Like, you like professor that shit on that on demand, so you'll be spending $34 for one second. <laughs> right, right. They have, so they gotta make it interesting, call it a handicap match. Five women against him. I'll tell you how stupid these people are though, man. They actually believe this shit, like everybody's equal. Women are equal to men. These people are fucking stupid. Yeah. 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 You know, I even see like these man, they're gonna get too strong, man. Nope. They may get a little big or whatever, but they don't get too they don't get too big either. You know, they don't get too big either, but they don't get too strong. And that's barely any woman that ever do that. Even on steroids, yeah. Even on steroids. Most high that tip for you to fucking beat uh G.I. G.I. James. Beat She Hawk. The yeah, Hawk's <laughs> cousin. The Hawk didn't tip for you to be the Hawk's cousin. Well that's who it is. The She Hawk is a Hawk's cousin, right? Oh yeah. That's his cousin. These are my books coming with Oh yeah. What's up, What's up man? Where are you going? Keep going that way. Yeah, yeah you know where I'm balling us. That bike Florida almost ran into the truck. Here in the US, United States of America, man. I ain't never heard of that. Yeah, man I Boy, heard it. I've seen it on the internet. Man Boy Lovers Association is a real organization. It's full of congressmen. It's full of police officers. It's full of judges. It's full of all kind of motherfuckers. Yeah, I have Professional to. Professional motherfuckers. All, all the congressmen, now uh, y'all the congressmen, the they're all faggots. Yeah. That dude Barney Frank, he admitted he was a faggot. He be fucking little boys in the ass. The, the, the senators, they always get caught fucking their pages. Molesting people, they they take them to co a weird cocaine party where all kind of weird shits going on. Hmm. They doing all kind of drugs. They doing uh, some devil worship ceremonies. Hey, you know, I got this. Anybody want to justify this wicked ass place? You need to destroy it too. Yeah, you do, you man. Right along with this yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no possible way any place to touch the sign. Especially this one. Especially all these. All these motherfuckers still on that Obama shit, man. You be punched in the face for that shit, man. Congratulations. You need their plan. They get their reward. You gonna get your Obama reward. Care, you gonna get that Obamacare reward. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, y'all deserve to get beat with pipes, man, and bricks. Uh, Jeremiah 22, start from the top. Only one that can justify this bullshit is the most high. It's the most high program, really. So, so we, yeah. Oh, yeah, blast that. 22 at the top. Ah, go ahead. Hit the people on the floor. Jeremiah 22, and one. That's just the floor. Jeremiah 22 and 1, thus says the Lord, go down to the house of the king of Judah and speak there this word and say, hear the word of the Lord, O king of Judah, that sittest upon the throne of David, thou and thy, thou and thy servants and thy people that enter in by these gates. Thus says the Lord, execute ye judgment and righteousness and deliver the spoil out of the hand of the oppressor. Okay. The Judah's talking about Judah Benjamin. Right? Yeah. He's just talking about this one trial. The, yeah, the Lord's talking to Israel. That's okay. Right, Israel. That's the way he commanded to Israel and the king of Israel. That's uh, keep right. going. And his seed. There you go. Keep going. Look at these weirdos. Look at them creeps. Go ahead. And do no wrong, do no violence to the stranger, the fatherless, nor the widow, neither shed innocent blood in this place. 
So that's right. Yeah, so was America founded like that? There's all kind of innocent blood founded in America. Keep going. For if ye do this thing indeed, then shall there enter in by the gates of this house king sitting upon the throne of David, riding in chariots and on horses, he and his servants and his people. Keep going. But if ye will not hear these words. So if y'all don't want to listen to these words of this Bible, keep going. I swear by myself, says the Lord, that this house shall become a desolation. He's gonna become a desolation. The Lord's gonna destroy you. He's gonna obliterate you. He's gonna disintegrate you. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna pulverize you. for that destruction. Right, and this is really talking about two-thirds of Israel, okay? Because the Lord said he's always going to save a remnant. You know what I'm saying? The Lord always going to keep a remnant. And well, he's going to destroy two-thirds, man. Two-thirds of Israel, the Lord's people, they're just going to be destroyed. They're going to be killed. They're going to be put to death <laughs> right along with the heathens, man. Yeah. They going to be, yeah. Uh, keep going, there's more to that. Yeah, yeah. because yeah, we, we royalty, okay? Because we're all, we the nation of Israel. Israelite, that means Prince of God. We're royalty. That's exactly what we were talking about on the ride up. How we're royalty. How it's working for the niggas. Yeah. They got that docile mentality. And they got that bozo the clown spirit. You know, my dude in there calling, calling these niggas doing this and shit. Don't want to come here. Big, big motherfuckers too. Uh, Jailbird looking type niggas. Tattoo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big brawly, I was like, oh, I was like, man, I wish this motherfucker would do that to me. You know what I know now. Huh. People is clowns, though, man. Ain't nobody got that. Ain't nobody got no kind of serious. That's what I'm saying. You have to be clowns. If you're clowns. clowning around, and I'm watching Esau, Esau sitting back watching them. He's serious as can be. Serious as hell. He, he like, oh, these people are clowns. You damn right. Hey, you. The scriptures say that there's no rest for the wicked. They, they don't even look at the clock when they work. They just work. They just working to destroy you. And that's real shit. They ain't looking. They ain't. They ain't. I put on the clock every damn no. time, every 20 seconds. Like, what am I? What am I leaving out this motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> they don't even pay. I don't see nobody reaching down for their phone, looking at the time half the time. They just uh, Esau's they're in the zone. Like it's like them niggas be in the zone. Esau's in the spirit. He's in the spirit to be a damn demon. Four more, more hours so you get some toilet paper money. Is there more that read more that script? Uh, tw Jeremiah twenty two and five. But if we will if if ye will not hear these words, I swear by myself, says the Lord, that this house shall become a desolation. For thus says the Lord unto the king's house of Judah. Thou art Gilead, damn, I think that's not right. Yeah. Unto me and the head of Lebanon, yet surely I will make thee a wilderness and cities which are not inhabited. So that's what happened too, because that's why Israel got scattered. Because he made he made Israel a wilderness. What does that mean, a wilderness? He he turned us into pretty much savages. Did you know the word savage? You know that means wilderness too, right? You know the word savage, like uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. That means this means wild. So, so the Lord scattered us among the heathens, man. That's a punishment for breaking them laws in the Bible. Uh, keep going. I can tell you. And now we'll prepare destroyers against thee. So the Lord gonna prepare destroyers against you. So that that's that, that's why Obama passed the NDAA. That that's why they spy on uh, spying on you. That's why they read all your emails. They listen to all your telephone calls. Okay, they're watching you have sex with your wife through the Wi-Fi. Uh, that's why when you go, yeah, you go to you, when you go to the airport, you go to uh, the TSA, you get gate rates. You know what I'm saying? They sticking fingers up your ass. They pull you over on the side of the road and they'll finger fuck you. They don't. They'll molest you. Well, your Wi-Fi like that though, because all your wives are adulterers. You see that guys probably like it. Miami, Florida, uh, on vacation. They speeding down the highway, getting high and shit with bikinis on. These bitches have badass bodies, man. Cause the camera on the police car was recording the whole fucking thing. 
and they called a, a female cop in to frisk these bitches. You know, they got to go in their cabin. Yeah. And they, they got the camera on them and everything. And these black bitches look like they was enjoying it, acting like it's a bothering, it was a problem, but they look like they, their they facial expression like, like they was enjoying it, man. Wow. And they was up in that pussy too, man, on there. What the fuck you doing riding around with bikinis on and shit? You know? Where they at, man? These black bitches, Miami 40 on vacation, oh, yeah, enjoying themselves. Yeah, that's Living good. good. Stupid black bitches. And now they call themselves trying to sue the cops. Yeah, it should actually be law. I mean, if you gonna call it, if you, you claim this is a great society, this is the most beautiful place to live, then there should be laws against women walking down the street in bikinis and shit. Bikinis. What the fuck is that? That's what bikinis are. Because uh, well, men can't control themselves. That's just a fact. That's right. That's okay? Right. Man, because these people, these are a bunch of goddamn devils out here, man. So, Esau, he's going to be put to death, man. Yeah, he's going to be a slave. He's going to be a slave for a thousand years. I guess they must think everybody's fucking gay, man. Well, all these motherfuckers, there's a bunch of fucking sodomites, man. Yeah, there's no lions out here without fucking. That's we the lions. We the lions. Yeah, they, they, yeah. We the lions. A bunch of goats. You know? You got more to that? Sick ass motherfucking people. People stupid, man. Go to my gym while I work out here, man. These motherfucking bitches, man, they. Jeremiah 22 and 7. And I will prepare destroyers against thee, everyone with his weapons. Oh, that destroyers too. That's talking about those missiles, man. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord about to shoot missiles on America, man. The, the, the sky is about to be filled with nuclear missiles, man. That's gonna be a giant destruction. And you know, America's gonna be destroyed by fire. People, that's what that's talking about. That's really ultimately that's what it's talking about. That's how that's that ultimate destroyer. You know? And now we'll prepare destroyers against thee, everyone with his weapons. And they shall cut down thy choice cedars and cast them into the fire. And it's all this bullshit y'all got. Y'all think you hot, you got your, your rim, you got your ride. All your shit's gonna be destroyed, man. It's gonna be turned to ashes. All your possessions gonna be turned to ashes. You know what I'm saying? Ashes. Yeah, ashes to ashes. Yeah. <laughs> you know? All your, everything you own is going to be destroyed. You're gonna everything. Be de and you're going to be destroyed right along with it if you ain't right. This is simple facts, man. That's what's happening. That's what time it is. That's what you're supposed to be teaching, too. If you ain't teaching that, too, you, you ain't even teaching nothing, man. Keep going. Because you got a lot, a lot of faggots. They'll never talk about destruction. But here it is. You read every page in the Bible. is destruction, destruction. Turn the page. Destruction. Turn right. the page. I'm going to destroy you. To the uh, next page, get destroyed. It's because they got all their love when they got killed on. Right. That's what I'm saying. There's way more destruction scripture than there is love. about yeah, Period. Because, yeah, because love is a four-letter word, just like shit and fuck. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 22 and 8. Too busy being a goddamn faggot. Yo, they sensitive. Yeah, that sweet sauce spirit, man. You know, wait a minute. Time I mean, and peace. Like yeah. we was talking, hold on, like we was talking earlier though. We was talking about the time or something. We was talking earlier about the bronies. Y'all know what a brony is? A brony is a cross between a bro and a pony. Because you got a lot of grown men who watch the new My Little Pony series. And it's a new thing where all the men call themselves bronies and they wear pink shirts and they in the My Little Pony and they call each other bronies. And they're saying it's cool for a guy to wear pink now. That's what's hot. They've been wearing pink shirts, pink socks, you know what I'm saying, pink shoes. That faggot we seen last week was wearing some pink shoes. This motherfucker had a mohawk. This motherfucker had a mohawk with some pink shoes. What the fuck is going on, man? Oh my, it was like, oh my mama. He was a stupid looking nigga too, oh man. And he had a cute bitch. I ain't, man, he, man, that dude was a faggot. I was about to get lumped the fuck up. I could not possibly be his bitch. This that bitch was work. almost with their arm that reach. I don't they, like that. You know, these women like that. It's all kind of they sexual like, weird shit going on, man. So, this yeah, is yeah, you're right, you're right. 
I forget. All over you, there's a lot of weird shit going yeah, on. Yeah, 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 that's true. Cause yeah. these bitches, yeah. Strange shit. Cause these bitches will have a do fucker while the dude's fucking that dude in the ass. Yep, yep. <laughs> and that dude, they, 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 they get down like that, man. Strap boys, the women fucking Ain't you never seen no pornos where they have two dudes fucking a bitch with that both dicks going into the same pussy? Oh, God. Yeah, that's going in the same ass. I've watched all that shit, man. Going in the same ass. Two dicks going in ass. Blue. Foul ass society, man. Age, this is spiritual. That's, that's kind of sanitary as fuck. Yeah. They don't give a shit when you can go down to the free clinic. When there's they free clinics it. every fucking where. They said up in up in California, they had, they's having a pre, uh, they, they're having a problem with that new gonorrhea. People foul, man. They said that new gonorrhea is getting out of control and it's spreading yeah. everywhere. That's right. Yeah. They, they was about to they start it's killing people now. Now they's about to start sending. Uh, the government's about to start passing out free STD tests. Cause everybody has goddamn gonorrhea. Nasty what the fucking shit is that? Nasty How the fuck does everybody catch all these diseases in the first place? Fucking nasty Being bitches. a lesbian. We're from lesbians, man. Yeah, fucking lesbians. This is a fucking death. Goddamn witches too. I bet you they. I bet you they is some witchcraft too. They probably pray to the uh, the Queen of Heaven, our sheriff, uh, Inanna, and, uh, Diana, and all that bullshit. Yeah. They ain't some Wiccans. They into some astrology. They go down to the Renaissance festivals and all that shit. And people, yeah, they are into some weird shit out here. Weird man. shit. Bizarre shit. The shit is getting fucking weird, man. And then you ain't gotta imagine what they're doing. You can just type in the fucking internet. Key, key it in and it pop on the fucking screen. You can see what they're doing. Man, you can see it. It's mad. You, they broadcast it. And it's like billions of women who don't make pornos too. Like billions. It's a different woman in each porno. And there's millions and millions of, there's probably billions of pornos. We should ask random bitches if they've been in pornos. Yeah, I'm saying, you can't even count. I mean, people don't understand when I'm explaining this. They ain't comprehending the scope of it. They ain't, the magnitude is, there's billions of pornos on the internet with each one got a different woman in it. That means, like, almost every bitch done made a porno. Let me bust this quick. Uh, Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Yeah, so God is going to kill all you faggots. All you faggots, soon your body's going to be lying in the streets. You're going to get burned up. You know what I'm saying? Melt. You're gonna, yeah, you're going to melt. Hey, get that Malachi. That's that spirit. Get that's that melting spirit. The Malachi Lord about him. The, the Lord gonna melt all these buildings. He gonna melt all you adulterous ass women, all you hoes, all you tricks, all you sluts. The Lord's gonna kill you. He's gonna exterminate you. When the Lord, uh, we in the last days. I'll oh, go ahead. I got something right quick. Second Peter's uh, three and ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. So when you least expect it, keep going. In the which the heavens great. shall pass away with a great noise. It's gonna be a great noise. What's the, what that's talking about? It was thermonuclear missiles and ICBMs. Y'all, y'all, you faggots and you hoes, you gonna get burned up. All you adulterers, all you, all you feminine men, all you little girly men, you bunch of faggots, uh, feminine spirits. Uh, keep going. With a great noise, and the elements shall melt. With fervent heat. This is all gonna melt. There ain't gonna be nothing left but ashes. Keep going. The earth and also. Then, yeah, the, the street gonna be turned to glass. <laughs> you know, you see that when uh, the, nuclear, the nuclear destruction will turn the sand into grass, glass. I saw that nuclear, yeah. I, I saw that nuclear test that oh, Russia did. Yeah. You know, it was around some mountains and shit. They went in the caves, and the caves all over, from deep in the caves, was glass. Everything yeah. walls because it melted. I've seen that. Glass. Yeah, you I've seen, seen that? that? Yeah. That's yeah. why the scripture said it was going. He, he's going to melt. He's going to melt you, melt you, motherfucker. Big non-driving ass humans, man. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein. Also the works. What well, the works is adultery. <laughs> that's the top. That's the top offense. Actually, that's even. Actually, the worst offense. They all breaking the first commandment. In America, you can do whatever you want. You can worship the devil. You know, in America, you can uh, you can go to the church of Satan and worship the devil. And it's, so look, if you're a devil worshiper, you're supposed to get put to death, man. You ain't supposed to be able to be a Muslim. 
ain't supposed to be no choice. So I have the choice to be a Muslim and to worship Satan. Mm. What kind of dumbass shit is that, man? Mm. Keep going. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Yes, yeah, so all this works gonna get burned up, man. Keep going. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be oh, in yeah. all holy conversations and godliness? Yeah, so if you know the destruction's coming, how are you supposed to act? So you're supposed to act like you got some sense. You're supposed to teach us words. How you doing, man? What's up, bro? Yeah, man. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the most high. What you got there? You got a sword? Testament. Yeah, that's where your old testament at, bro. That's at home. You gotta have them both. I got them. You gotta have them both. You know he got them. Right, right, right. What's up, bro? What you find, you give. What oh. you receive, you right. get. Oh, we don't, we don't need that, though. You don't want that? Oh, we, already, we got, we got, we got one, one right here. You can't son the Bible. Oh, I mean, I'll take I'll it. Take, right, right. That was, they appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. All right. All right. All right. But you know, you might need it more than us. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Hey, spirit on him to give us something. It looks like one of them Bible, uh, them you jail Bibles. Come up here yeah. You know? We usually leave it there for someone else. Right. It's probably that's one of them jail Bibles. I think it's the New Testament with Proverbs and Psalms. Right. Yeah. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens be on fire. So the heavens, what's it gonna mean? The Bible said that heavens are going to be on fire. The heavens being on fire is talking about that thermonuclear destruction. And there's three heavens. Yeah. This heaven, this is Esau's heaven. The second heaven. Yep. The heaven, <laughs> outer yeah. Space. Outer space. Yeah. But then you got the... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, heaven. you got the spiritual world, too. That's You can't see that right yeah, now. But he's referring to this heaven. Your heaven, your world. Oh, that, too. Yeah, that, too. Yeah. This heaven's going to be on fire. And there's gonna be fire in the sky too. Yep. You're gonna see that you're gonna see missiles. There's gonna be so many missiles, you ain't gonna be able to see the sun. Yeah, them, uh, them missiles don't hit the ground, they explode like uh, they ex some of them are yeah. set to explode like five thousand feet, a thousand feet, you know. Maybe I'll be they trying to when they're exploded up high, it uh it uh they don't produce as much uh fallout. Yeah. So because he's all playing on coming out of his shelter. They think he's gonna survive is settled. That's, yeah. what That's why they yeah. build all this. That's what we think. Yeah. So they're, they're, they set the detonate up. Huh? That's why they got all them deep underground bunkers. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why they got the space station. Underground, underwater station. Underwater fortresses. Yeah, yeah. yeah you got underwater fortresses. Yeah. They plan on making it, man. Well, that's good. Because we need slaves. We're going to need lots of slaves. We're going to need lots of slaves, right. And we're me. going to have them. Kills me how these dumb motherfuckers is actually making forts like like the underground shits, mm -hmm. the elements that the most accurate. Right, right. Those elements they used to build those forts, he created. Sea soul speaker. That's his logic. <laughs> That's his logic. They think they can defeat what created them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, Here, I draw a picture of my of a superhero. That picture gonna just get up and whoop my ass. Right, that's, that's a good point. Yeah, you're right. Cause, you know, because when the Lord comes back, he gonna try to the, the military gonna try to try to fight the Lord with elements of the Lord. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> like that. That's. I thought about that shit. I was like, that's totally that, fucked up. Yeah, when you really think about it, it is retarded. <laughs> Like these elements you use that the Lord created to put together all your weapons, yeah. you say you're going to destroy your most house. Right. Yeah, all the elements, carbon, magnesium, zinc, copper, all that. Most high created all that. Check this out. This is Isaiah 47. And uh, I'm gonna start at two. Take the millstone and grind it. Don't cover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Don't cover the thigh. Pass over the river. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. Yeah, so America's gonna be brought to shame. Actually, the shame has already been shown. And you see, you see the government getting exposed left and right, man. They exposing themselves. The IRS. 
Yeah, you got the IRS scandal, the IRS getting caught, uh, and all kind of scandals. That skirt got you know. Everybody's waking up to all their false, their, uh, false flags. Yeah, you watch that town hall meeting with uh, Senator McCain. He's like, Senator McCain was up in a town hall meeting, and the people were standing up like, they was about to kill him. They was ready to string his ass up and kill his ass. Right, this dude right. came up, he's like, well, you should be Other tried. They, they, they was like, you should be tried for treason. That's right. He was a prior Jake, though. Yeah, it looked like they was ready to kill him, man. Uh -huh. He was looking nervous up in there. That's right, his pride. That pride has been something. But that's going to happen, though. Shit like that's going to happen. People going to flip, bro. Why, why do you think the government want to take everybody's guns away? Because they know people going to flip out. That's right. You got to take the knives, too, if you're going to go that way. Take yeah. the guns. Shit. Might as well take the kitchen knives. Might as well take all that shit. shit as long as there's a weapon around, he saw. I mean, Jake gonna use it. And Manhattan, it's already illegal to have a knife. Right. That's already. Right. Now the worst, craziest shit I ever seen in my, which I thought was impossible, when you got arrested with a fucking pocket knife. That shit is retarded. Man. A pocket knife? Yeah, go to jail for three days for a pocket knife. A pocket knife oh, in brother. Manhattan, New York. What kind of dumb ass shit is that, man? That's some faggot shit. A pocket knife. Oh, most I got some jokes. But here it is. But here it is. The Second Amendment. This country's founding document says that you had the right to bear arms. You should be allowed to have guns and whatnot, machetes, all that shit. You're supposed to have whatever the fuck you have. Rocket launchers, tanks, <laughs> uh, missile launchers. I mean, you're supposed to be able to have all that. You know what I'm saying? Cannons. Here you go. Um, thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea. Thy shame shall be seen. Hey, so these devils don't even follow their own laws. Man. He almost got ran over. Got, That's he, a heathen on a bike. He can't even ride a bike. I thought, uh, you know, goddamn it, merge left. Dumbass. <laughs> man, just imagine if he tried to drive a car. That's a heathen on a bike. He about, to, he about to get fucked That's up. That's what I see, like, hey. I seen a record amount of car accidents on this. Oh, he got a car accident. All heathens. All them goddamn Africans. That's all them Somalis. Okay. Somalis are some foul people, man. Somalians are creepy old no people. Bullshit. It is. That shit, I have seen like over time. Way more over time, actually. Right down the street for this, man. Yeah, I know. This one knows it. It was tough day. That's about it. I will take vengeance, and I will not be vengeance. Well, the Lord ain't gonna meet us as a man, meet us. When he come back to the earth, he, he ain't gonna be like when he came to the earth 2,000 years ago and died on the cross. He ain't gonna be able to kill him. He ain't gonna be able to put him on no cross. He gonna come back and destroy you. I get uh, Revelation 1. He's coming back in that clear. same body, too. He's coming back in that same body, too, so we gonna move him see Back the same way. I got something to back you up on that. No. So you don't have no respect. You have no, no mercy, no, no pity. Everybody know that scripture. Uh, Y'all said, Lord, Lord, but I don't hear you. What's oh, that scripture? No. Uh, Revelation 1 and 7. Mm. Behold, behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him. That's right, it's talking about UFOs, unidentified flying so, he, That's what Esau thought. That's why he said he, you ain't going to be able to pierce him this time. That's right. And that, yeah, that's talking about Esau piercing. That's right. The Roman, uh, the Roman motherfucking faggots put him on the cross. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name. The Holy One of Israel. A Holy One of Israel, because that's the Lord's holy people, the Israelites. The Lord only came to save the Israelites. The Lord did not come for all nations. When you read the Bible, it talks about Israel over and over and over again. He going, The Holy One of Yahshua, sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. Yeah, that's the daughter of the Chaldeans. That's talking about America. The Chaldeans were a bunch of witches and warlocks and magicians. You know what I'm saying? They's into all kind of witchcraft. That's where that's yeah, that's where that Freemason shit come from is the ancient Chaldeans, the ancient Babylonians. The Chaldeans is the Babylonians. So all, all that free Freemason witchcraft, it all go back to ancient Babylon. All that Egyptian mystery shit, all that shit go back to Babylon too. Hey, read that part again right there. Okay. Sit thou. 
47 and 5. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldean. Yeah, and when you act, get a, give me a Psalm 137. Uh, or Psalm 137 and 7, I think. Now hold that, because that said the daughter of the Chaldeans, right? Mm -hmm. that, that's like you saying the daughter of the Babylonians. That's a daughter, daughter of uh, witchcraft, a sorcerer. Yeah. Well, give me that song. Hold that for a second. I want to read this. Yeah, that this right we'll back that up. It's going to better. tell you. You only got a little bit more. Oh, go ahead. Read the rest of that real quick. Oh, daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdom. So no more be called. Like they call America, uh, they got the Statue of Liberty to represent America. So it's just a lady of liberty. But there is no liberty in America. Right. Yeah, it's not because the word liberty comes from a Latin word. Uh, Libris, which means balance, it means weight, okay? Because to have liberty means you have balance, okay? Everything's balanced. There's no balance. Everything's out of balance. Up is down, and down is up, and left is right. Everything's all up Everything's all backwards. Women are men, men are women. I mean, literally. It's all fucked up. Two plus two is five. What's that? Two plus two is five. Oh, yeah. But yeah, no, these fools can't even read. Yeah. And that came about when there's no child left behind on shit. Oh, that bullshit. Two plus two is five. Man, these schools, is, they, they teach, these schools teach you to be dumb. I was fucking with a girl, man, and she was in her well into her 30s. And um, this went up. Uh, when I got my GED and shit, I was going to come to state. And she and I happened to be in the same room, man. She couldn't literally read. She literally could not read, I believe man. It was, it was, it was bad. She was fine as hell, too, man. One of them thick, curvy, bad black bitches, man. Bad. And she could not read. And I was meeting her after myself. I was trying to help her. That's why you gotta teach your kids yourself. You can't rely on the school to teach them. All these adults you ask, all these children get raised by a single mom. Yeah. And the single mom teach them. And all these adults you ask, all these children get raised by a single mom. And the single moms, they all hoes. They don't care about those kids. They ain't trying to spend time with them. And it takes patience to teach the children how to read. It takes a lot of time. These women ain't trying to put no time and effort into their children. You know what I'm saying? So that's why all these little kids grow up to be dumb as hell, because they're all raised by a single women. they all raised by a bunch of dumb ass bitches. And that's why the kids are dumb. Uh, you got that song from 37? Start the 30, 37. Psalms 137 and 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. Now, to the children of Edom, okay? He just read that scripture that's talking about the daughter and the Chaldeans, right? Uh, the, read that again. Psalms 137 and 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. Those children, that's the so-called white people. That's the Edomites, right? That's who Edom is. He going? Yeah. In the day of Jerusalem. The he day. said, raise it, raise it. Even to the foundation thereof. He gone. O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed. You see that? It's just called Esau, the daughter of Babylon. So we know that scripture he was reading was talking about Esau too. Okay, because Esau, because he, 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 he followed after the ways of the Babylonians. Like he's a supreme sorcerer and a, the supreme warlock. Mm. You know what I mean? He's a goddamn magician. Mm. Like the word, like I always say, uh, the, the word spell, to cast a spell on somebody means you spelling words, okay? You using words. To cast a spell means you spell words. The word spell means what it means, what it sounds like. It means to spell something. You know what I mean? That's to cast a spell, to spell some shit. So that's why uh, them so-called Jews, they the, they the top sorcerers, the top magician. Uh, the real magician is a writer and a musician, you know what I'm saying? A real, a real magician is a musician, a writer. Them, them, all them writers and directors up in Hollywood, they are wizards and warlocks. And they casting spells on people. They giving you all this imaginary shit. 
I thought one of them would never say that. Yeah, you they do say that. You That's where I learned it from. Actually, I learned that. I heard that from Alan Moore, the comic book writer. That's why I stole that little bit from him. I got, I got his book John Todd. Oh, John Todd, yeah. You know, I was with John Todd in early comics. It could have been late 80s when I first heard John Todd. But now the truth comes out of the That's a passive spell. Yeah. I mean, like you, Alan Moore, mentioned the comic book writer. Yeah. He's, the, he's, he's the most popular comic book writer there is. He, he wrote the uh, V for Vendetta. There's a video, I think he had a video. Yeah. Uh, what's that, the Watchmen? The true story. The Watchmen, he wrote that shit. Oh, really? Yeah, he's behind, he wrote all kind of shit. From Hell, you ever seen From Hell? That's scary movie. It's all based on his comics. The Johnny Depp, From Hell, is about Jack oh, yeah, the Ripper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but he, he said it himself. He said a real magician and a real wizard or some way, uh, well, a real magician.